Hi, this is Brant from TradeGuild.blogspot.com, and uh, I've got a quick little video. We're going to look at a couple of indexes, a little bit of today's action, and a couple of ideas. Um, basically, we had a big rally today on Wall Street. All the averages were up huge, and um, you know everything looked peaches and cream until you looked at the volume. So the volume was a little bit lacking today. Is this the start of a big move? Who knows? Uh, we've been here before. We've been disappointed before. I'm personally saying, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait till the market proves, uh, perhaps till it takes out the July highs. And uh, other than that, I'm using this as an opportunity to get into some short positions and uh, a, a few select long positions. Uh, first up, I have the NASDAQ Composite Index. And uh, basically what we're looking at here is, you know, we still have this sloping 50-day uh, moving average. So if you're gonna trade with the trend, uh, you know, you'd use a, a day like today as an opportunity to go short. Um, basically down here, uh, my time segmented volume, 38-day, uh, is uh, still below the uh, zero line. And if we just flip over real quick, uh, take a look at the accumulation, distribution. Uh, again, time segmented volume 18, the shorter period, is just barely crossing above the 8 and 14 day moving average is still way below the zero line. Uh, money stream has not got above its 15 day moving average. Not a lot to see here, I, I don't think, as of yet. Uh, I'm gonna take a quick look at the Dow. And uh, again, you know, we have a spectacular day, 182 points up 1.68%. Uh, uh, and this is really noticeable here. Let me zoom in a little bit. Look at the volume today. I mean, it is just, pathetic really um, I'm, I'm not impressed at all by that uh, we also have a uh, TSV that's well below the zero line and if we take a look real quick at uh, the accumulation distribution again the uh, shorter period TSV is still below the zero line uh, money stream is barely uh, above its moving average I'm not impressed again uh, finally we will take a look at the uh, S&P 500, pull it up, and uh, again, weak volume, or, or not impressive volume, TSV again below that zero line. Uh, if we just take a look at the trend channel, uh, linear regression channel, you can see it's still well within uh, the downtrend. So I'm not really uh, biting on this rally. Uh, we'll, we'll wait and see what comes of it and uh, until then I'm just using it like I said as an opportunity to uh, enter some short positions uh, next up I want to show you BOT which is CBOT Holdings uh, we talked about this one I, I don't know if it was on the tag board or if there's a post on it uh, it had this nice breakout and um, it bumped into resistance up here and it had a subsequent uh, pullback and we said this is an ideal spot to add to that position or, or to go along that position and uh, again if you had done that you'd already be you know almost 10 points of uh, profit there and again we're seeing that resistance come into play but uh, I, I do like what I see here I think I'm inclined to think that this is going to uh, go ahead and you know make a move through that resistance uh, if we look at the accumulation distribution indicators, uh, you can see up here money stream in red is just flying. That's a leading divergence. Uh, looks very, very bullish, very strong. Time segmented volume looks very productive and uh, BOP is confirming the strength of this trend. Uh, I like this one. I think this goes higher. So let's keep an eye on that. If you're long, I know some of you are long that position, I would, uh, I would stay on that one. Just let it run. Uh, I'm going to show you another one here. Uh, this is GPK, which uh, I know a lot of us have been long in. This was one that we talked about this weekend, perhaps a failing ascending triangle. And today it was up 6.53%, which made me happy. I still have a position there. And uh, it is inside this ascending triangle now. And, um, you know, it, it basically saved the pattern for the moment. Let's see how it reacts when the market uh, doesn't look so hot. Uh, next up, let me clear my screen here, is ACTG. 
Um, some people have been long the stock, some people have been short the stock. I'm short since the day it busted through, uh, well, not since that day, but, uh, you know, the day it busted through this 50-day moving average, it got my interest. So um, I've been short in here, and they released earnings last week, and the earnings on, on the face of it, I'm not a fundamental guy, but they looked very positive, they looked very bullish. Uh, the after hours uh, trade on it was just pathetic. There was nothing going on. It was like 10,000 shares traded. And, um, you know, on a big day like today, if it was going to make its move and do something, you'd expect to see it do it today. And what did it do? It threw down a doji, more or less. So um, I'm not impressed by this, you know. Um, the TSV38 down here, you can see, is not gotten above that zero line take a look at this channel you can see it's fallen out of the linear regression channel and um, you can see the BOP is still uh, bright red down there and time segmented volume is still just you know it's just wallowing way way below that zero line so I'm maintaining my short position I added to that uh, last week and I think uh, ultimately this one is going to be headed much much lower uh, another position that's in my portfolio on the short side, let me get rid of that, is TTMI. Um, again, this is, looks like a big head and shoulders top formation here. And, you know, it's in the right place after this rally. So uh, I have some concerns with this stock. And um, you can see why I liked it in the July 20th video. And I'll show you my, uh, my, my concerns. But why I have this screen up, we measure uh, a head and shoulders top by, uh, and this is not a textbook top by any means, but uh, you know I, I'm working off of uh, the assumption that that is what we're looking at. You measure it from uh, the neckline, which is right in here, to the top of the head. So uh, it's about 1250 to 1750, which is about five points, and then you take the neckline and work down. So five points down from uh, 1250, this is about 750, maybe eight dollars in there. Uh, I'll show you quickly what my concerns are here. Uh, TSV is improving. You can see the slope of TSV down here is actually, you know, moving up. And uh, BOP is improving over here. And money stream. Uh, while it's not divergent, it's not uh, it's not leading price down like I'd like to see. So I'm cautious on this, but I'm still short, and I'll tell you why. Because um, you know you can have all the indicators in the world. The most uh, the two most important indicators are price action and um, volume. And thus far, I don't see anything in the way of volume that would scare me off. And uh, the price action, we're looking at a big uh, a top formation. So I'm inclined to think that uh, this goes lower, but just a word of warning for everybody uh, so you understand, there is a little bit of risk there. Uh, I have a few more stocks to do, and I'm running out of time because I only have 10 minutes to, uh, to post. Um, I'm going to come back with another video, so just uh, hang tight, and I will be back shortly.